Uh, today is day two of the floss rule. So we'll go ahead and review what the floss rule is, and then we'll do some activities to help us with reading on words with the floss rule, okay? All right, here is our agenda for today. We have our new concept review. We have word work. We have our irregular words today. We're gonna to be learning two new irregular words, and then we have our connected text where we'll do a sentence, and then we'll also read our story today, okay? All right, so here is our review for the floss rule. So for the floss rule, we learned that F, L, S, or Z, if it's heard after a short vowel, and it's a one syllable word, in other words, it only has one vowel sound, we double the F, L, S, or Z. For example, here is the word stuff, right? Stuff has one vowel, it ends with a sound, so we use two Fs, we double the F. Here's the word will. Will has one vowel, it's a short vowel sound, it ends in the U sound, because the U, L is one of our floss rules, so we double the L, okay? Mess, we double the S, and buzz, we double the Z, okay? Remember, even though it's two letters, it only gets one box because it makes one sound. So if I was going to map the word stuff, it would look like this. Uh, even though I know it's two Fs, do I read it like this? Stuff. No. So it only gets one box because it makes one sound. But when I write it, I have to remember, put two Fs in one box. Okay, or two L's in one box, or two S's in one box, or two Z's in one box, okay? All right, today we're gonna do a little bit of a printing practice activity. Let's go ahead and practice reading our story, our sentence. Our sentence, let me move this back so you can see it, follows the floss rule. So you're gonna notice that our sentence has the F, the L, the S and the Z. We already know that the rule is it has to be a one syllable word, right? So in other words, one vowel. We notice the vowel is closed in. So in other words, if it's closed, is it going to be open, a long vowel sound or a short vowel sound? Yes, it's a closed syllable word. It's a short vowel sound. Okay, let's go with Arturo. Arturo, will you read this word for us? Jeff, Emily, will, will pass. pass, buzz. Great reading, let's read it together. Jeff will, will pass, pass, buzz. Right now on your paper, you have some lined paper. This is for you to practice writing your sentence with the floss rule. However, when we write, I want you to look at your, on your table, you have your caps, point to caps on your table. The C, what does the C stand for? Capitalize. So which words do we have to capitalize in this story? Yes. The name, the beginning. Yes, the beginning, Jeff, and the name, Buzz. Even though Buzz is not the first word of the sentence, we still have to capitalize it. Great job. Okay, the next part. All sentences make sense. In other words, when you write it, you don't want to write it out of order. You don't want to say, Jeff, pass, will, buzz. Does that make sense? No, so when you write it, you have to make sure it's in the same order. Okay, number three, what does the P stand for? Punctuation, what kind of sentence is this one? Yes. Yeah, it's just a statement, right? It's just a period, we're just saying a statement, we're just telling you some information. And then the last one, spelling, make sure your spelling is correct, okay? But I wanna include something. Your letter formation, remember we go top to bottom. It's really important that we practice our letter formation. Remember, we use our lines, right? The top line, the middle line, and the bottom line, okay? So as I walk around, I'm gonna look for a really, 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 really neat printing, okay? You may begin. Can you write the Nope, you're writing the sentence.
I like how you're going from middle to bottom with those letters. Great job. Arturo, you need to write over here, not up here where there's pictures and words. And when you write, are you using your lines going from top all the way to bottom? Yeah. I'll come back and check, okay? Can I see yours? I see two E's, but I don't see two F's. Beautiful. I see two S's, but I don't see two Z's. Nice, Arturo. Just remember, you have to have a finger space in between your words, okay? There you go, Emily. Can you read your sentence to me? Jeff will pass buzz. And will you circle the uh, floss letters? Excellent. Nice, perfect. And do you have your ending, oh, oh, you're missing a floss. And do you have ending punctuation? Yep. You sure do, great job. As you guys are finishing up, you're going to take that paper and you're gonna put it underneath all of your other papers. Can I see yours before you do that? Do you have any punctuation? Yep, you sure do. Can I ask why your Z, Z has a space between the U and the Z? Yeah, there you go. Nice. Do you have ending punctuation, Arturo? Nice. Remember, we always have to end our sentences with punctuation because if we don't, guess what? Your sentence, that means it's just going on and on and on. You're not stopping it. So I might want to read it like this. Jeff will pass buzz. Because you didn't put a period to help me stop my sentence, right? So you have to put that period so I know I stop right there. Jeff will pass buzz. You got it? All right. Let's go ahead and move on. So now when we do the auditory drill, guess what? You guys get to write two spelling patterns for the F sound. So if I was to say this sound, which letters would you write? F, F and what else? F, F, good job. If I was to say O, what letters would you write? Thank you for raising your hand. LL. LL. And what else? Yes. L. L by itself. If I was to say S, what letters would you write? SS. SS. And what else? Or S. Or S, right? Now, what about the Z sound? We, now it's changed. Instead of two letters, now there's three spelling patterns we can write. What's one of them? S. S. What's the other one? Z. Z. What's the other one? Z. And ZZ. So now we have more than one or more than two, right? We can write three spelling patterns for uh, the Z. Okay, these are words that are really easy to read. So we're just going to go and I'm going to ask each one to read it, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the first word. First of all, I remember, I need to remember that I don't say S, okay? Arturo, will you read this word for me? Miss. Miss, good job. Okay, will you read this one? Remember, don't say, Emily, how would you read that one? Off. Off, good job. Nayeli, how would you read this one? Tell. Tell, and how would you read this one? Will, good job. Let's read all of our words together. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Miss, Miss. off, tell, tell. Will. will. Excellent reading. I'm gonna go ahead and erase. So let's move on. Let's read these now. I'm not gonna mark these now because you guys already know how to read so well. You guys ready? Here we go. Pass, well, spell, still. Nice, and I like how you said well. Last, my last group kept saying will, right? There's a difference between the it and the et sound. Good job. All right, we're done with review session, okay? All right, so for our new concept review, we are done. Let's move on 